talk about Indigo and where it's headed. Yesterday, the shares were under pressure after Pratt & Whitney's parent, RTX, said that it will remove 600 to 700 engines annually that power their A320neo planes by early 2024. Uh, that said, DGCA sources have confirmed to CNBC TV 18 that to tackle the supply chain issues, Indigo has been allowed to take 11 Airbus A320 planes on a wet lease, lease the aeroplane with the operating crew. Mark D. Martin, the founder and CEO of Martin Consulting, is now with us on the show. Uh, Martin, first your thoughts on the Pratt & Whitney engine issues. Is it much larger than what the street was anticipating? Because I believe now close to 3,000 engines will be recalled uh, till calendar year 2026, much higher than what we were earlier anticipating. The turnaround time has also increased to 300 days versus 60 days earlier. Good morning. Thanks for having me on CNBC today. I think we need to be very clear that the Pratt & Whitney engine is not, uh, issues with it is not new. We started, Indigo started to see air turnbacks, engine failures, high vibration, fan blade separation, catastrophic um, uh, incidents with that engine five years ago. We have to be mindful that this is not new. It's been going on for five years. And as a result of what's been going on, Indigo is being now aggressively pained by this. Now, to be fair, this Pratt & Whitney engine issue affects pretty much every Airbus A320 operator out there. So Indigo is not alone. You've got Turkish Airlines, Lufthansa, Air Baltic. You have uh, Hong Kong Express, of course, Go Air, an, an airline which is shut down because of Pratt & Whitney. Let's address the first issue here. This is not a supply chain issue. This is an issue with the engine braking, and as a result of it braking, you cannot supply a replacement engine. The point is engines are braking, engines are falling apart, and we are seeing emergency line, uh, landings. Now, thank your stars, we have not seen a crash as a result of Pratt & Whitney in India, either with Indigo or with Go Air. But this is a serious issue. Now, RTX is recalling 3,000 engines. I mean, isn't it too late? You should have done this five years ago when the world was screaming at RTX. But now what's happening is Indigo is in the spotlight. They are in the spotlight because their revenue and their earnings are coming under severe pressure. And that's the reason why they're looking out for aircraft that they could fly um, on short-term wet lease. Now, let's be mindful here. These are aircraft on wet lease. They're not permanent. It's a temporary solution. It's like somebody having a heart attack, but instead of you doing a surgery, you're actually going to put a Band-Aid on that person. So it's not a major step to fix the problem. The problem is Pratt & Whitney. But Indigo is a smart airline. Indigo is going to be switching over to CFMI, Leap, and other engines. So, you know, they are taking steps, but those steps are way too late. And what's going to happen is that investors are going to suffer in this because your earnings are, are going to be severely affected. Yeah, no, that's very well put and summarized, Mark. Uh, good morning. Good to have you with us here. Uh, you, you know, so I have a, a research report here which says that 136 aircraft out of a total fleet of 316 uh, uh, for Indigo are powered by uh, this this particular engine. But the new in, uh, sort of incoming planes that they are getting, they are powered by uh, some of the manufacturers that you mentioned, some of the new models that you mentioned. Uh, so, uh, the turnaround time, I mean, you know, so you you ground the aircraft, you look at the issue, and then, uh, as Rima said earlier, the turnaround was 60 days, but now it's gone up to about 300 days. I mean, what's the, what's the solution? Hi, uh, great to see you again. Thanks for having me. I think the bigger issue here, it's not just the 600 aircraft i mean okay now we're talking about 125 aircraft in india globally it's over 900 aircraft mm. okay so 900 multiplied by two is 1800 now some of these airlines come higher up in the pecking order so they're going to get their engines faster than an indigo or a go air the the and uh, you know you you brought it up very nicely on this the issue here is accountability this is affecting India. It's now affecting our investors. It's now affecting earnings per share. It's affecting airline bottom lines. Now, and who suffers is the common traveler, you, me, and everybody connected with Indigo. And this, is, this has to stop. Someone needs to take a call because right now we've got a go air on life support system. And we have an Indigo, which is now, you know, uh, which is basically 
you're trotting its way to hospital because of this and somebody needs to take a call and that call has to be the government of india because when india suffers it's an india issue and when right. the, when it's an india issue we need to take it up because these aircraft not only are the engine breaking you now airbus are a brilliant aircraft and so are boeing mm. uh, boeing has got separate problems but the engine is causing you to not fly and that's 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 a, that's a catastrophic for any airline balance sheet Mm. Uh, according to a UBS note, 40% of Indigo's fleet and 100% of GoFirst fleet depend on these Pratt and Whitney GTF engines. Uh, so there is a deep impact uh, running through India's aviation space right now. Uh, Martin, um, is there going to be some sort of a compensation which uh, Pratt and Whitney is going to offer? Will there be some money coming into Indigo? Um, you know, aviation, have you picked up anything on that? And what are the cost implications of this wet lease? Just trying to understand the bottom line impact for Interglobe Aviation because crude prices too have been on the rise. Very well summed up. And I'm glad you brought that data and stats. 40% of Indigo's fleet is exposed on the Pratt & Whitney GTF. That means 40% less earnings in your P&L. 100% of GoAir's fleet is Pratt & Whitney GTF. That means 100% impact on your P&L. It's over for Goer and Goer needs to come back. Now, you know, this is this is not going to happen anytime soon. I know we all want this to ward off and fly over us, but it's never it's it's it is going to be long impacting because even if if Indigo and Goer switch to CFM I leave, it's going to take them 6 to 12 months just for the compliance part. Um going for wet lease. Now, we have to be clear that these are temporary uh, contracts. The aircraft fly for six months, maybe at the most nine months to 12 months. After that period, these in aircraft have to go back because you're taking them on a temporary lease. So it, it, this buys some time for an Indigo, but it's not the it's not the ultimate perfect solution. You still need to get back and fix the real issue here, and that is, you know, catch older Pratt and Whitney, make them accountable. Take them to court, get that compensation. If they're not going to give you compensation, ask Pratt and Whitney to pay for another engine or buy you another engine and install it because you're suffering because of their product. Their engine has catastrophic issues. An engine that breaks. Imagine an engine which costs $25 million, metal cracks on a brand new engine. It's unheard of in aviation, right? Now it's pinching us, the investor. It's pinching the common man. And serious action and steps need to be taken because as i said the government represents us as as a democracy mm. it represents us as a market the government now to take this up also very in a very firm and a strong manner i'm hoping that indigo's earnings does not get affected as right. to what you've mentioned about the ubs earnings of 40 percent but right now we're treading on extreme thin ice and it's a wait and watch period Mark, uh, uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, pleasure speaking with you uh, with a quick take this morning. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, uh, before uh, investors, I mean, you know, the flyers and uh, it's uh, uh, just uh, airlines are full up and uh, the yeah, sector is booming. Crossed. I hope, I hope uh, things are things are okay. Uh, absolutely. Fingers Thank crossed. you very much, Thanks Mark. Thanks for having me. Thanks. For Thank you.